presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars. <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year. And, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not <laughs> counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah. and put the money in your pocket okay and I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up of and having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that's happening right here, right now. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 58, NASDAQ is up 68, s and is up 13 and a half, gold contract down $36.70, trading at 1788 an ounce. We have silver down 97 cents, $22.20 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up a buck 85, $79.70 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note trading down nine ticks at 128.18. The 30 year down 12 at 156.01 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 148 ticks, trading 96.319. The euro is at 112. The yen is at 115.92. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Okay, so what do we have? Well, let's, this is going to be pretty cool, just walking through this whole deal. So S&Ps out here, this is what you have. We're, we rejected lower price out here this morning. And yesterday, you, you go south. As we go south, we go south with 104 million shares. We reject... 470, 465 out here today. Now, when you take a look at this, what you're going to see is this. You're going to see that we actually have a rejection, and that rejection is going to be on a lot lower. Well, as long as it comes in less than 95 million, it's going to come in with a lot lower volume. So on the S&P, that is saying, now this is, this is where it's going to get tricky. The S&P is saying, guess what? You can go right back topside again. And we know going back topside is that the first time that we broke the highs, we broke the consolidation, that gave you a price projection of 500. Then we had an ABC structure on the way up. That ABC structure on the way up took out the B point, took it out with volume, that gave us an ABC structure up of 501.21 or 501.76. I forget the last two digits. Now, that being said, the ABC structure up is negated. And the reason it's negated is that what happens is that when you have a complex ABC, which that, which that would have turned into, because we still could have had one, but the volume exploded to the downside yesterday, inside of the S&P, meaning we come down with 104 million shares after making highs with 71 million and after making highs with 47 million. So what that says, bottom line, is that it's not an ABC structure up. That, right now, still does not negate, I know this can get, confusing because trust me it is the 500 price point at this point for the spy the reason being is that we want to see how does it break top side I, I suspect we're going to break top side again tomorrow okay so how we hit the 473 tomorrow if we hit it tomorrow or the next day is going to make a huge difference meaning is it going top side once again so that's the spy 
NDX100. Let's go look at the NDX100. So NDX100 is in a different situation. What we have with NDX100 is this. We rejected lower price out here today. And you're going to have, it's going to be close whether it's light of volume or not. In fact, I don't think it's going to be. Last low was 65 million shares. Yeah, we'll do like 70 million. That being said, what I expect is going to happen is that we are going to bounce on the NDX100 also. My take on the NDX100, you want to sell every bounce. And, and the reason that I'm saying this is that if you take this and you take a look at how it's set up at the lows versus the highs, what you are going to see is that, let me put it down this one. Whoops, wrong side. Okay, let's do that one. What you're going to see is that when, each time that we've hit up highs up here, your contraction and volume is huge. Each time we're downtown, well, you, your contraction is huge. Okay, so you hit the highs, you have a contraction of volume. You hit the lows, you have an expansion. Sorry, you have an expansion of volume at the lows. That is building cause for lower price. That's telling me that the Qs are going to be down. And, you know, we were talking about 350 before. 350 is game again. That's the bottom line. That's how these things are set up. So it's going to be uh, a trading market, and it's still going to be a little tricky because of the fact. The tricky part about this right now is this. It's not, the tricky part is not the NDX 100. That's, good. That's a two-way market, my take on it. You get a bounce, you get light volume, sell the heck out of it, okay? The SPY and the Dow Industrials are tricky. And the reason for that is you can see the rotation that's going out, and people are going to want to be, if there's such a thing, into a boring stock. But they're going to look for them. Gold. Gold contract down 36 bucks today. Bottom line, you have 228,000 contracts. This is saying that you're going to go after 1781. Right now, you're at 1788. So we'll see how that baby shakes out, but that's, that's, got some main, that's got some mean destruction in it. There's no doubt about it. And that was, the, this whole move had been done actually before we even opened up. Uh, you know, this, this move was done. The, the intriguing thing about this move, so what happens, folks, let me, I believe the future's open at 820. The pit. Uh... Five o'clock. I think it's 8.20 that the pit opens. If it's, the, the bottom line is that that whole move had been done before the pits actually even opened, which can get pretty dicey. That, that, and let's go over to King Dollar. So what we have with King Dollar out here is this. What you have with King Dollar is, you know, you're up 103 ticks. Um, you know, it had a strong day on Monday. There's another sideways move. I mean, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of conviction either way in this particular point. There's no doubt about it. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here, and they'll have some decent volume out here today. You got Apple down a buck eighty-eight. You got Lucid up uh, one hundred seventy. Rivian that's down two forty. That's under its IPO price, I believe. Uh, Tesla's off eleven dollars. That was off fifty something though. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's down 114. We get the Nasdaq uh, up 36. S&Ps are up uh, four and a half. Let's go over to the, the note and bond market. So we're gonna we'll pull up a generic, and that just means a generic futures chart uh, of the 10-year. Because what happens then? It strings them together for us. So we'll see. We we definitely broke the consolidation here. And okay, so. The bottom of this one here is one, we're at one twenty eight nineteen. The next move is one twenty seven thirty one. That's at one one twenty. That's only only fourteen ticks away from that. Well, the real question would be. It's a shame I don't have volume on these, but I could get volume. Let me pull this back one second. So that's we broke the March twenty twenty one. Well, coming up to March 2022, we broke down the uh, okay. So I'm going to put up the current contract right now. So the, cur the what the current contract has done is this: the current contract it's down eight ticks. Anything that stays under 128.22, which we're under. Can go down another three and a half, so that's 120. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, this is saying the 10 year could go to 125. And right now you are uh, you're yielding 1.72. If we take a look at the last year, so this is where we set up and in the, in the interest rate structure, folks. When we take a look at the last year, the high might have been, I wonder if it's the highest today. It's interesting. Uh, the high has been 1.74, the low has been 1. On the 10 year. Let me do the three months. Yeah, no, that 1.73. Okay, cool. So what is what has happened is this. We haven't reached the high yet. So check this out. You know, you know what's so this is pretty wild, folks. We've we've heard the context of yes, rates are going up, and this was a fast move. There's no doubt about that. But guess what? No matter how fast this move is, we've been higher by basically uh, what? Ten basis points. Last year, you know, and I expect we're going to go higher. My, my point was, is this, is that we've already been here at this price. It hasn't broken, you know, it's only 10 basis points underneath it right now. But the bottom line is that I suspect it's going to go higher. What you're going to start hearing a lot about is you're going to hear, start hearing a lot about what is the real interest rate. And what that means specifically is that you have the rate of inflation, 
then you have the 10 year, and are you at even or are you at negative? I mean, many folks that really know what they're doing, they're not, they haven't been out here saying for the last three years that we've been at negative interest rates, but they've certainly been taking an interest in getting as much debt as you can get on the books. And that's what you've seen large corporations do, because the fact of the matter is that when you actually take the inflation rate, and then you take the rate of the interest rate, you've been in a negative rate. In fact, I might claim, I'm say, I'd say we're still in a negative rate. And we will be for about another year and a half until they can get that 10 year running about, uh, we're at one, we're at 1.72. I mean, that can go to two and a half. And I suspect you're still gonna be at a negative rate. So, CLF, Cleveland Cliffs. Let's go take a look at Cleveland Cliffs out here. So you get the low for the year in Cleveland Cliffs. Well, there we go. The low for the year is uh, 1277, the high is 26. You're trading $23. And what I expect you're gonna see here, I mean, this, this said it all yesterday. You, you're just gonna want some patience with this equity. This equity wants to go to its highs of the 2651. And this is the type of equity, folks, I would say that a lot of folks are actually gonna be looking for. Meaning, if they believe that we're going to get a correction, or we're in a correction, and I'm just talking about, well, I'm talking about everyone, but it's the big money that move markets. This equity yesterday, you can see what happened. This equity didn't go anywhere yesterday, okay? You want to find the equities that did not get hit yesterday. That says a huge amount about the aspect of where we are going inside of the marketplace per equities. And, and of course, in this particular case, what you actually had is that this went up versus down. You know, so that's telling me that uh, on the daily, it wants to get up to the 26th uh, price point. We put this on the weekly, and the weekly is a really nice setup. Man. The, the weekly, last time we were up there at the 26.51, it had good volume. It, uh, it's coming up, you can see on this week, with good volume. This is a nice setup. And, you know, what what you get in this equity also is if you believe that we are in inflation, well, this equity has a long way that could go, meaning topside. You know, it's a highly volatile stock. If, if you know, you, you, you gotta make sure you know what you're getting into here. But you can see when I just put this on a monthly also, it's set up, it's, it's a nice setup, man. I mean, the all time high in this thing is uh, 121, that was in 2008, then it goes down to 11 bucks, goes back up and 100, 100 bucks, and then really crashes down to like $2 in uh, November of 2015. That being said, when you build a monster base like this, and this is what it's done, okay? This thing has been building a base since uh, 2014, all the way over to last year, and the last, you know, to 2020. It came off the lows, it's approximately, Three dollars ran up to twenty six, pulled back to nineteen, and if you get the next break, <laughs> you know at twenty six. I mean, if we really get action at twenty six, then guess what? Then you get game up to ice, and game up to ice would be, uh, yeah, before it, it's a big number, man. Game up to ice is like forty six, so that no doubt is a decent number. Well, let's go take a look at Amazon because Amazon was getting at the lower end of its consolidation also. And, okay, so we're coming down, the volume contracted. Now, this has been taking a long time to get down there. The lower end of Amazon's consolidation is uh, 31.16. The high of the low is 32.79. We got to 32.38 today, and we're at 32.76. So you can see what's happening. It's getting into that area, and that's what you want, folks. Um, you want a rejection of lower price at the lower end of the consolidation. You know, because this does have, what was, price is that, 31.63, okay. Hey, we'll see, we'll see how it happens when it comes down to those lower ends. We go take a look at Microsoft. We know we've had sellers in Microsoft that are monster away. They sold it away yesterday. Let's see how this thing is setting up now. So Microsoft right now, down a buck 30. Say, okay, so this is cool, man. Microsoft broke its consolidation. So Microsoft is gonna, you know, Microsoft was a leader on the way up. Now guess what? It's gonna be a leader on the way down. 
You broke the consolidation, so now you can make the call. The, the 318 is the bottom, 345. So we got, what, 28 points. That gets you 290. Yeah, and the swing point's 280. So when you look at Microsoft, Microsoft is set up to get, go to the lowest swing point of 280. Now you'll, you'll get, I suspect, some bounces in between that, but that's good. That's, that is going to keep pressure on the NDX 100. Dow, Dow Industrials right now are up 114. NASDAQ no, is down 114, sorry. NASDAQ up 24, S&P's up three and a half. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are down 100. We get the NASDAQ uh, up 29. S&Ps are up about five and a half. So let's get over to this gold market and take a look at this gold market. First, we're going to get into the uh, XAU. Take a look at the XAU. So this baby here... Down hard yesterday, gaps lower today. We're trading down 368. You're at 123. So volume yesterday was 27 million. Okay, that's not bad though. 33 you're coming into. And 132 million. So it doesn't look to me that, yeah, it's not. Okay, so I. What happens, folks, is that the XAU, HUI, you get the volumes at approximately 8 o'clock at night. 
Um, this is coming down on light volume. You know, the, the, even yesterday with the 27 million, the last low out here had 38 million. The prior downdraft had 33. So we'll see. We get some price destruction, though, and there's no doubt that uh, a few of these are right at the very lowest swing. So the real question is, is it going to break them? If we take a look at the uh, Gold Bugs Index, that is off $7.05 out here today. Yesterday we went south with 20 million. I won't use that one. But you're coming at the 30. Yeah, there's still not enough sellers. Yeah, at 248 to 235, inside the Gold Bugs Index, we had 30 million. And in a month's the day like yesterday, we only had 20 million. So this, it's going to be slower volume out here today. Well, when I say. It's going to be higher volume in the marketplace. It's going to be slower volume in some of these golds, the way the way the trade traded out. Uh, Newmont, yeah, yesterday we did six million. Today, oh, well, actually, no, yeah, yesterday, yesterday we did seven point two million. We're at six point one million today, and that's going into that's uh, that's almost already rejected lower price. It had it had a print of fifty seven eighty seven, and then all of a sudden it's here at fifty eight uh, ninety two. J.P. Morgan, let's go take a look at some of the banks because the bottom line, folks, if you are looking for something uh, on a longer term basis, it's still going to be a choppy market. Uh, but you, what you will see is that, you know, as rates go up, banks are one place that they don't even have to. So picture this. The, the difference in the banking structure is they, they do not have to produce more product. <laughs> uh, the, the, bo the bottom line is that all that happens here is that the money's already in the bank, their spreads get larger. And you can see with J.P. Morgan's case, okay, bottom line, you went topside in you know, the last two or three weeks and rejected the lower into the consolidation. You have some volume up here. That's saying, look, okay, so what, 164, 172 is coming at you, and you, uh, it's kicking off a 2.4% dividend at this price. Mar Bell, let's go to Mar Bell. These things were actually moving uh, before the fact. And, you know, Mar Bell came off the bottom uh, at 22. Right now you're trading 26. And I think this is going to probably be just another one of these deals that large money um, are going to start basically, they probably have already done it, meaning they, they protected themselves to a certain point on some of the tech stocks. Because the, the valuations are so huge, it's unbelievable, there's no doubt. Bottom line, as that money starts moving, they're going to be basically looking for some kind of dividend. Um, and the telephones absolutely have it. So now let's go take a look at RIVN. This is uh, Rivian. So Rivian, uh, this, is, this is unusual in the context that you got a Tesla trading worth more than Volkswagen and Ford. Here comes Rivian, and they went IPO, folks, at $78. They hit $75 today. And when I say they went IPO, it doesn't mean, it just means that if you had got the IPO, it was 75 And let's see what the first print was here. Because I, I suspect it was a lot more than 75 yeah, it was 95. No, it was. The, the, so the first print, check this out. The first print was $106.75. And then it closed that day at $100. And then it went up to $170. And now it hit $75, a rejected lower price out here today. You know, we'll, we'll see where this whole thing is going to shake out. But um, I, I wouldn't be stepping in here, that's for sure. And one of the main reasons I wouldn't be stepping in, if we get over to Tesla and take a look at Tesla, what you're going to see is this. The low is 5.39. The high is 12.43. Tesla right now rejected lower price out here today at 10.20. That being said, you know, in, in Tesla's case, we do have two lower highs and two lower lows. So what what normally happens, folks, is that when you when you're doing technical analysis, you want three. If you if you're doing trend lines, you want to hit three. If you you know, so you want three up and above, three down below. Bottom line, 
My take is that we're still in a downtrend here with Tesla. And Tesla, there's no doubt, um, with the amount of competition that's coming on, could get a lot lower. Um, there's no doubt. When you, when you look at this, this is where it is so bizarre. There's no doubt. So we take a look at Tesla. Tesla's still a trillion dollar market cap, right? And then we turn around and you go to Ford and you say, oh, really? It's only a $97 billion market cap? <laughs> it, you know, it, it just doesn't fly. It particularly doesn't fly because, hey, let's go to Amazon. So watch this. Because this is, this is really applicable in Rivian's place. Okay. Let's see. Where are you? Well, this one story here is about Rivian extends fall, but Amazon still needs more EVs. They do. But what also happened is that even though I believe Tesla owns, I mean, Rivian owns, Amazon owns some of Rivia, what you do have is this, is that the way that Amazon moves, Amazon, okay, oh, here it is right here, okay. So Rivian Automotive fell as Amazon, one of its biggest backers and customers, agreed to buy battery electric delivery f vans from its rival, Stellaris. The first vehicles under the new auto are due next year. It didn't disclose the size of the deal. So if you know anything about Amazon, which we all do, just because Amazon has backed this company doesn't mean that they're only going to buy off Rivian. It's not going to happen. What is going to happen is that Amazon will back three or four or five companies because Amazon's goal is to be the biggest EV delivery in the world, probably, with no drivers. That's... That's where they're at. They're one of the first ones that had robots, robotics going in a big way, and that, that's what you're looking at here. So they wouldn't, they, and, and you can imagine what would end up happening is that when you do have the backing of three, four, or five of them, and then you put out the bid, what are you going to do? Who's going to bid? Well, bottom line, they're all going to jump over each other the bid, and, you know, Amazon's going to get quite a deal. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We get all red in the screen right now. We got the Dow Industrials down 151, Nasdaq off 8, S&P's off 3. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 158. You get the NASDAQ off 22, S&P's off 5. And uh, let's go take a look at the uh, lumber prices again here, because I got a great story, folks. Uh, this is so intriguing, man. It's, and it's not good news, I can tell you that, for folks that are looking for places. Um, so we're at 1171 right now, and four months ago you were at 492. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let me see if I can get the generic one up. Is that generic? There we go. Okay, good. So... Now, I'll put this against the last high. Yeah, it's even over, that'd be crazy if it's over the last high. No, it's not, okay. So the last high in lumber was 1711. Then it crashed, now, okay, so the last high that was generated, okay, was May, May of last year, folks, May 2021, okay? So we're in January 2022. It goes from 1711 down to four, 46. Now we're up at 11.72 again. It looks like there's no reason it can't soar to, seven, uh, to 1711. So here's the story, right? So check this out. Let me do this. There's a couple different ways we can do this. Well, first, uh, let me tell you the story first. So you get a picture. The, the aspect of building houses, building apartment buildings, building, building whatever it is. There's two different stories out here today. Well, no, there's one story out here, and then I can tell you the second part of this about the building of trusses. The whole United States right now, the apartment rate, the vacancy rate, is basically, it's never been this low. It, the full rate is 97.5%, folks. Okay, So what 97.5% means is the bottom line, when you get an average of 97.5% across the country, that's just unheard of. And the reason that is like that is twofold. From 2006 up until approximately 2016, 15, there wasn't building going on at all. That was, there was still was thousands of houses out there, the rehabs, there's the thousands of apartments, the rehabs, okay? So that's a long period of time, not a huge amount of rebuilding that's going on. Yet, we still, population-wise, population was still coming in. You know, every 10 years, we're, you know, adding whether it's, you know, 10, 20 million people, okay? So, housing, bottom line, when we talk about a supply and demand equation, it's an, a monster equation, meaning there's much more demand because there's many more people <coughs> than there are houses to do. Okay, so that's the first one. Well, now, we had talked about <coughs> trusses before and the backup that's on trusses. So now picture this. So I just went in, what we do is we check all the time because the bottom line, we wanna know how many weeks ahead do you have to order trusses in order to get them delivered? Well, this morning, here's the number, and this is like shocking. 30 weeks, three zero, folks. Three zero, that's like insanity. So that would mean that you can stop building a house and you are not going to get trusses for 30 weeks. Okay, that's a huge problem. I mean, it's a mega problem. I actually get the, a meeting with the trust people and it's, it's yeah, you know what's interesting here? Let's, put, let's bring up the, because this is a public company I'm dealing with. 
bring it up right now and watch this. This is because this is because this is what ended up happening. Okay, so it's Builders First Source. They, they're they're a monster company, folks. Okay, so let's see. The low for the year is thirty seven. The high is eighty six. Okay, revenue wise, excuse me, they do. They're going to do four point three billion this quarter, and you can see. So so look at this for a second. See, last quarter they did five point five. Next quarter, 4.3. The, the, their, their problem is, is that they, they can't get enough help. They, they can't get enough plates. So if you've ever seen what a truss looks like, trusses, when you first look at them, anyone that went to a good, basically, technical high school that had, um, you know, a, a good woodworking and drafting classes... You could do trusses. They're not, they're not the hardest thing in the world to do. And most of them are. Right? If you have a complex roof, it's going to be a little bit different. But the bottom line is that you, you, it's, they're pretty good, easy to do. That being said, you still need the parts. And what has happened in the machine shops are these plates. They're claiming they don't have enough plates. Okay? So it is so intriguing to me because what ends up happening like i'm dealing with this company i have a meeting with them next week and the bottom line is that i'm in the process of building an eight unit luxury place and thank god that i'm, I'm doing it this far ahead of time because guess what i haven't even gone the, the, the plans are getting developed so we're going in for the, the permits so i'm actually going to order the trusses before i even get the permit that's how, that's how backed up they are. Now, my, my take on this, okay, for the real estate business is that, guess what? When people say to me, like, is real estate going to hold up? Well, cash flowing in, in St. Pete is huge, okay? If, you know, Boston, I don't see it. There's, there's still cities that don't cash flow. There's no doubt about it. When you're cash flowing, but then... Builders that can't even build and can't deliver a product for over a year, let's say 12, let's say 15, 16 months, where before you deliver a product in seven to eight months, that is telling me flat out, okay, that guess what? This is going to go on for a bit. And, you know, if we start talking about the mortgage rates, you know, a couple of targets saying it won't hold up with a 4 to 5% mortgage. I don't agree with that, and I can tell you why. I have plenty of mortgages at 4.5%. And, you know, that's not the end of the world. You know, and I understand the concept that, yeah, we're at 3 for a long time, but 45 is not a big deal. You're talking about a 30-year deal. Um, you know, so it, it's going to be uh, a very tight market for a very long time. And, yes, those poor people in Colorado that got the house burnt down, um, that is going to be a problem. Uh, they, what, what I was doing, this is something to keep your eyes on. When I, I, I first had the meeting on the phone with these, uh, with, with the salesperson and his manager at Build. And I got a lot of good information. When I went to the place, I got more information, and this is what it was. And this is why it's something you want to keep your eye on these builders also. So in, in Florida, what had happened Lennar and Toll Brothers, of course, are right here. And I know, well, they told me flat out what, ha what had happened is that they had taken too many orders from Lennar and Toll, and they shut them off now. So I suspect Lennar and Toll will definitely find, you know, more builders in order to get the trusses because everyone wants business. But you can see that's how desperate the deal has got. And it would totally make sense to me that that's what they would do. Why? Because I suspect whatever the price that Lennar and Toll is paying is probably half the price of what uh, a builder that only does, you know, six, seven homes a year. You know, we're going to pay more money. There's no doubt about that. But there's, there's a lot of moving parts in that business right now, folks. And the, the biggest part of it is no building from 2006 to probably 13, well, well 2015. It's nine years. People that come in and then all of a sudden the bottom line is that you have more people than you have houses. That is truly something that I haven't seen, and I've been doing this now for 40 years. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And one of the things I did forget, which I've mentioned in the past in a big way about the housing market, is the amount of funds. There's no doubt. I did it, too. I uh, came in and just bought every single family that you could buy and rent them. Um, the large funds, folks, are never going to sell. Those houses are never going to be back on the marketplace. That makes a huge difference in a supply and demand equation. Because what has happened is that you have a housing market that is now public. And it's just not the builders you're talking about the owners of the single families. You know, uh, one of the Tigers just brought up AMH, okay? Uh, bottom line, it's American Homes to Rent. Uh, you can see the revenue here, okay? The revenue, 1.5 billion a year, and they make four, four to 46 cents a share. So the bottom line is that um, we, we are gonna have a tight housing market for a long period of time. Okay, let's go take a look at this market. It's all red right now. Uh, we take a look at, uh, first, let's go into the NQs, because the NQs, no doubt, are the weakest. They are right next to the lower end of the consolidation. They're going to close right in the middle. So we'll see what, it, it, what, what you still have here is this, is that the, the amount of volume as you are going into that is definitely 66. Last time was 65. The prior time was 105. I haven't hit it yet, but, you know, we have jobs numbers tomorrow morning. So what this is saying is that jobs numbers, 
you you talk about uh, some volatility in the morning. You got a big volatility because everyone is going to be looking at this consolidation in the queues. Because if you break the consolidation, three fifty is game. It might take three fifty is game. That's that's a you know a longer term deal. But that's exactly where I think this thing wants to go because what it does, it sticks out like a sore thumb. And it's been hitting the top of that consolidated, the bottom of that consolidation, and it's been hitting the bottom of that consolidation with volume. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. It's a great show. Yeah, look at them, folks. Building wealth, trading.